Mark, today is your first day as Chief Executive of Anglo-American. There's always a lot of expectation around change at the top. How does it feel to be here? Well, certainly from my point of view, I think it's a great opportunity and I certainly feel uh, privileged to be given that opportunity to lead Anglo-American. Um, across the industry these days, the words major diversified are thrown around fairly lightly. And when one looks at the dominance of iron ore across many of those portfolios, I think you could argue that a few of those groups are not diversified as they once were. You can't say that for Anglo-American. Now, whether we've realised the potential of that diversity in our portfolio is something that I need to address with our team. And I think that's the great opportunity. So very much looking forward to working with the team in looking at how we can better realise value and deliver on our potential. So uh, great opportunity, very excited, looking forward to working with the team. Your to-do list must be substantial. What are you going to be focusing on over your first few months? Look, I haven't been an engineer for many, many years, but I'm still quite logical in the way I think and in the way I think about creating value for shareholders, for our stakeholders, and for our employees. So understanding how the business comes together, what it needs to do, how it needs to create value, is the starting proposition we have. In being systematic in the way we peel the layers of the onion back, I look to start with the value proposition for being a major diversified. I look at the portfolio, the commodities we're in, do they make sense? Are they the right commodities for the future? The assets, are they competitive? Are they as good as they could be? Should we be doing things differently to realise value? Balance sheet, do we have the capacity to realise that value and, and are we flexible enough in the way we're operating? We then go to systems and structures and people know that I think as a mining industry we're miles behind other sectors, so lots of room for innovation. And then finally, have we got the right people in the right roles doing the right work? And, those issues roll off the tongue fairly quickly, but I like to put those pieces together. In that first three or four months, pulling those pieces together, getting the major themes out there, and understanding what we have to attack to really create value for the long term. So that's the type of agenda I'll follow. I'll pin down the timing as I work through the process and see how big some of the tasks are. But within three or four months, you'll start to get a sense of the key messages, the direction we're going, and what we want to try and do as a team to deliver value to all of our stakeholders, in particular our shareholders. You've worked across a wide variety of commodities, of countries and companies. How would you describe yourself as a leader? What approach do you take? Well, firstly, your question talks to something I think I do bring to the role, which is experience, geographies, commodities, and also technically in terms of where I've worked and what I've done. In bringing all those pieces together, the one thing I've learned that is most important in a leader being able to deliver a leadership message is clarity and simplicity. Our job is to create value for our shareholders, for our employees, and for all of our stakeholders that are becoming so much more important to all parts of our business. So leadership is about people, it's about making sure that we understand those messages, that people's responsibilities are clear and their accountabilities are absolutely crystal clear and holding people to account for delivering on their commitments ultimately defines who I am as a leader. There continues to be uncertainty around the commodities market and around the global economy. What's your long-term view of the commodities cycle? Well, the first observation I would make is there's always some uncertainty around the commodities market. So that's the world we live in. They're the things that we have to deal with, and that doesn't worry me. In terms of water, energy, commodities, the world is short. If the world is going to continue to grow at better than 3%, we don't have enough of any of those products to actually support that growth. As a company, we can, I think, create real value by being smarter and quicker than our competitors in delivering into those needs in terms of the broader community. And at the same time, make sure we're doing the right thing by local communities, by our own employees, by all of those people that are impacted by our business. Our job is to create value for shareholders and at the same time, be seen to create value for society in general. If we get those two things balanced properly, we'll do a great job for our shareholders and for all of our key stakeholders. And that is the job of leadership. That's what we have to do as a team. 
There's been a lot of commentary and debate over the last 12 months about what the mining sector should and shouldn't be focused on. What's your view? Well, I have been fascinated. I've been in this industry for 36 years. And to hear people saying, you shouldn't buy, you shouldn't sell, you shouldn't develop, you shouldn't grow, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Now, for 36 years, I've seen the industry go through a range of cycles where at some point in time, with the right asset or the right opportunity, each one of those has been a good strategy. We make the mistake, I think, of defining the world, it's only this or it's only that. My job as Chief Executive of Anglo-American is to keep my mind open to all possibilities and to make sure that we as a team understand what value looks like for shareholders, that we understand how to see value in any one of those opportunities, that we pull the opportunity apart, we understand how to get at that value and we understand how to execute a transaction, a project, a deal, whatever it may be, so that we actually deliver on that value. And in my view, the focus has to be on value and the pathway as it presents itself will be as it will be. So Anglo-American, diversified portfolio, focused on value, we'll look at all the opportunities are right for us to deliver on so that we deliver value to shareholders, to employees, to stakeholders. And that's what a sustainable mining business in terms of creating value has to be about.